Are you serious? Are you serious? We have breaking news, breaking news. There was a bomb threats on Delta Airlines last night at the JFK airport right here in New York City. Matter of fact, these bomb threats involved Delta Flight 468. It caused two of its planes tied to the same flight number uh, to be uh, deplaned and searched at the New York's John F. Kennedy Airport. Uh, let me tell you exactly what's going on here. At the JFK International Airport earlier uh, last night, under airline, the, uh, another airline received a threat regarding Delta Flight 468. Delta currently operates two different aircrafts under that same specific flight number. It's a San Francisco flight to New York at JFK, which currently is on the ground at New York JFK Airport right now. And the other flight is New York uh, flight to Tel Aviv, Israel. Also uses the same flight number, 468. And they were currently boarding the plane when the bomb threat came in. So which one do you think they were referring to? Flight 468 Delta from San Francisco, New York was already in New York, deplaned, and was sitting there. Flight 468 New York to Tel Aviv, Israel was in the process of boarding when the bomb threat came in. Proper security procedures, of course, followed. The planes were uh, deplaned. Uh, again, you're not hearing this on your mainstream, I mean, excuse me, mainstream media, but uh, here, uh, publicly prophecy, of course, uh, well, we'll give you everything we can as far as it relates to the truth, everything we can find out. And uh, we're living in perilous times. Now, I'll give you some more breaking news. Just came in. I just saw it a second ago. Yemen's government has fallen. I repeat, Yemen's government has fallen. The, pres the prime minister, uh, his motorcade was shot at yesterday as he was fleeing the presidential building. The president of Yemen is out of there. He got out of there as well. Also, U.S. embassy vehicles were shot at as they were trying to enter the U.S. embassy this morning. And now we, are, we just saw live pictures where the rebels have taken over the presidential palace in Yemen. And uh, there is officials in the Yemen government saying the president has lost all power. Out of control, Yemen is completely, a coup has been completed. That is reports coming out of CNN. So I'm putting that also as a link on this description. Check it out. So obviously, with raids going on in Belgium, raids going on in France, raids going on in Germany, uh, a, a high alert in England, and bomb threats uh, in uh, right here in New York, uh, I mean, uh, something dangerous is taking place right now, and and there's no question you're living in the last days. The Bible said that perilous times would come, so don't miss today's live broadcast. I'll be broadcasting for one hour from 12 noon to 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, don't miss. We'll get you up to speed on all the current world events. There's more breaking as well. I haven't even got time to get it all to you, so we'll get it to you at 12 noon. And also, don't forget, tonight I'll be preaching, Lord willing, at Harvest Army Church International in the Bronx, New York. You can watch the entire broadcast. First, why don't you come be with us? If you're in New York area, come be with us at Harvest Army Church International in the Bronx, New York, over in White Plains. Or uh, you can watch it live on www.harvestarmy.org. That's www.harvestarmy.org. I'll be right back.